In step four of exercise number seven, the advanced parameters on the levels page are explained in detail, and the through machining option is used to demonstrate its effect on the iMachining toolpath. In the Solid Cam Manager, double click iRough Outside Shape to edit the operation. When the iMachining Operation dialog box is displayed, switch to the Levels page. The default input values of the positioning levels parameters are the cam part values that were specified in the Coordsys Data dialog box. The default start level value is equal to the clearance level value of the coordinate system chosen for the operation. The clearance level defines the Z level to which the tool retracts when it moves from one cut to another. Safety distance defines the distance to the upper level at which the tool starts moving at the Z feed rate calculated for the tool. Movements from the clearance level to this height are performed in rapid mode. For the purpose of this exercise, zoom in to the area of the part geometry as shown. Click the visibility checkbox next to iRough outside shape in the cam tray. The toolpath is displayed on the model while the iMachining operation dialog box is open. During calculation of the toolpath, iMachining may separate areas of large aspect ratios if it is more efficient to clear the divided areas with morphing spirals. In the milling levels area of the iMachining operation dialog box, there is a checkbox for through machining. This option enables you to turn off the separation of large areas in an instance where the separated material will break away from the stock when machining through the lower level. For example, enable the through machining checkbox. Click Save and Calculate to save the data changes to the operation and calculate the iMachining toolpath. As you can see, the toolpath is updated on the model and separation is not allowed. The large area is cleared with trochoidal-like toolpaths collapsing towards the part profile, followed by a morphing spiral. Using the exit button, close the iMachining Operation dialog box, and then disable the visibility checkbox next to iRough outside shape in the cam tray. Due to the data changes, the subsequent iFinish operation is no longer synchronized as indicated by the asterisk. Right-click iFinish Outside Shape and choose Calculate from the menu. The calculation runs externally and resynchronizes the operation. At this stage, Step 4 is complete. The advanced parameters on the Levels page were explained in detail and the through machining option was used to demonstrate its effect on the iMachining toolpath.